Merry Christmas, YouTube! For today's video, I thought it would be nice to do a winter-themed video by making methyl salicylate, also known as oil of wintergreen. And to do that, I'm going to start with aspirin. So these are 40 tablets of aspirin, which each contain 325 milligrams of acetosalicylic acid, which is the active ingredient in aspirin. Uh, and that's going to give us 13.0 grams of the acid. And we're going to react that with methanol. My methanol source is a heat antifreeze. Um, but so first of all, we need to grind these tablets down into a powder so the reaction can proceed at a reasonable rate. Okay, I've ground the tablets down into a fine powder and I've gotten some other equipment out for the next step of this. Uh, but now we're going to need to add the methanol to the ground up aspirin tablets. So, like I said, these are all the tablets there, and then I've got 60 milliliters of methanol in the graduated cylinder here that I'm going to add. And we want to swirl this around to try to dissolve as much as possible. Now, not all of it is going to dissolve because, of course, aspirin tablets are not entirely aspirin. There's binders and inactive ingredients and other things like that. Um, but we just want to stir this around and see if we can get at least some of it to dissolve. All right, I've mixed things around for a few minutes and I've gotten some of it to dissolve. There's still quite a bit of white powder on the bottom, but that's going to be, like I said, the binders and things like that. And that's not that big of a deal that that's in there. Um, so now what we need to do is add a catalyst to help the reaction along, and that is going to be concentrated sulfuric acid. So I will add 8 milliliters of that to the reaction flask, and I'm going to do that very slowly because, as you'll see, it produces quite a bit of heat. So I'll add just a little bit at a time, swirl to mix, and then a little bit more. I don't know if you can tell, but every time I add that, it produces a lot more bubbles than you would expect from just pouring one liquid into another. That's because it's actually making some localized boiling right where I pour it into the solution. So that's why you got to do this very slowly. And the original procedure called for 10 milliliters of the acid to be added, but since it's a catalyst, I feel like that's a little bit excessive. So I drop that down to 8 and uh, we'll see if that makes any difference as far as the yield goes and in an additional note my acid there is uh, red because it's a drain cleaner grade acid so they add like a dye or it's dissolved carbon or something like that that colors it okay we've got everything mixed together and now what we want to do is heat everything for a certain period of time now the procedure calls for an hour to do this and I've done that and it does work but you don't get very good yields from it so you need to do that for a little bit longer than, than what's described in the literature and um, what I'm gonna do is significantly longer than that I'm gonna try for three or maybe four hours but we'll see what kind of uh, time constraints I run up against um, but yeah we wanna heat this in a hot water bath up to 60 Celsius and uh, I'm gonna be measuring that with a thermocouple probe and I'm gonna stick in there with it so you can see the readout on the thermocouple over here. So we'll maintain that at 60 for about an, an hour. And now, ideally, you would want to use a reflux setup for this. I just didn't want to go through all the trouble of getting my water pump and all of that equipment out. Um, so I've done it before with this setup here, and it, and it does work. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, so the water bath is going to be at 60, it just heats the mixture, and uh, I'm hoping that the, the conical flasks, the sides of the conical flasks that are above the water, are going to act as sort of a, a crude reflux condenser and at least recondense some of it back down into the liquid. I'll probably have to add some more uh, methanol over the course of this reaction, um, but uh, we'll see, that should be okay. Now. I am doing this inside, but while the camera is not running, I'm going to be um, I have the window open and I'm going to be running a, a big fan to get a lot of ventilation in here because while wintergreen smells nice, um, you're also going to be producing methanol vapors, which is not the best thing in the world. So I am still going to be doing this in a very well ventilated area, which is what I would recommend you do uh, if you try this yourself. 
Okay, I've been running this for about four hours now, and actually I had to stop about two hours in and uh, go to dinner, and then I just kind of left it overnight and came back and did another two hours today. Um, so now it's been a total of four hours. Um, so now what I'm going to do is raise the heat and bring it up to about 80 or so and allow most of the methanol to vaporize. So we want to get rid of uh, most of the solution here so we can easily separate the oil that we've produced from it. You can see now we've boiled off most of the liquid. It was at about 75 milliliters um, and we're getting a brown oil to separate out. And that should be our very crude methyl salicylate. While that's finishing up, we need to prepare our solutions to do the workup of the product. And that's going to be fairly simple. So we just need two portions of 50 milliliters of water that's going to be put into the uh, fridge to chill it down. And another portion of 50 milliliters of saturated solution of baking soda, uh, sodium bicarbonate. And I've already got the baking soda in there and I'm just trying to mix it in to dissolve it. And a saturated solution uh, at 50 milliliters is going to be 3.9 grams of bicarbonate. Well, now that it's finally stopped raining and become a nice day, I can bring this stuff outside and uh, give you a little wider view of things. So here is the reaction products. You can see there's that brown oil floating on top. And um, what we're going to do, the oil is, is most of the salicylate, but there's some more that's going to be dissolved in the methanol. So we're going to put this into a SEP funnel and um, exploit its differential solubility. So methyl salicylate is extremely soluble in methanol, but only barely soluble in water. So that's why we have our water washes that we've prepared. So I'm just washing this out with some extra methanol to get all the oil out. And right, we'll zoom in here. So when I add the 50 milliliters of ice cold distilled water, uh, hopefully we should see a change. Now what this is going to do is separate the methyl salicylate from the methanol solution and, and so we can isolate it. And it's also going to separate out all the water soluble impurities like sulfuric acid. Um, so to complete this, we need to uh, take this out and uh, shake it. Alright, now when you're shaking anything in a SEP funnel like this, you want to vent often. Even if you don't expect it to produce any gases, it still can surprise you sometimes. I've let my oil sit and separate for uh, 10 or 15 minutes or so and uh, the oil you can see is heavier than the aqueous layer so we'll drain that. And try to get most of the oil. It's okay if you get some of the water with it because the next step of this is uh, to perform a second water wash. So I'm just going to repeat exactly what I did uh, except taking my product that I've collected down here and mixing that with the 50 milliliters of water. Alright, after the second water wash the rinse water was a lot clearer looking than the first time around so that's a good sign um, but we still have our uh, brown oil there that I've placed back into the SEP funnel. Now the final step of purification is we need to rinse it with our baking soda solution. This is going to neutralize any excess acid that's uh, still dissolved. Now when we shake the SEP funnel with this solution, it's particularly important that we vent often. Alright, I've let everything settle for a couple of hours for good measure and uh, now I'm going to drain the oil into a little vial here. And the last thing we need to worry about is disposal of the rinse water solution. So there's going to be a little bit of oil left over. You can see there's a little small blob of it at the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about recovering that. Um, mostly what we need to do is, is neutralize the acid. So we're just going to use some baking soda. And you can see that fizzes as it makes CO2. So I'll just keep adding that until the fizzing stops. And then I'll be able to flush that down the drain with plenty of water with no problem. So here's my product, 6.3 milliliters of methyl salicylate, or oil of wintergreen. That's uh, 7.3 grams. 
theoretically, the maximum we could have achieved is 9.3 milliliters, or about 11 grams. Um, but of course, everything's going to be a little bit less than that in practice. And you can see the, the color of this is very brown. Um, compare that to some oil that I did in another run, and it's quite a difference. So this oil seems a lot nicer than the, the brown oil that I just made. And that's possibly because I ran this reaction for four hours instead of the one hour recommended. I think this, this one was actually a uh, compromise between the two. This was something like two hours. So maybe running the reaction too long produces um, extra byproducts that discolor it. But it still smells fantastic, so I think it'll be good to go. This type of oil is good for uh, oil burners where you've got a little dish that's heated from underneath by a, a candle or something. And that, that releases the smell really well. Um, I do not recommend using this for any sort of uh, topical or um, ingestion purposes because anything in the lab that we produce, we can't be guaranteed that it's pure. I don't have the materials or the instrumentation to, to do that. So if the conversion from aspirin to oil vinegar was not complete, this oil could potentially have a large dose of aspirin concentrated in it, and that would not be good for you if you absorbed that through your skin. So there you have it, a nice smelling oil for the winter season. Thanks a lot for watching.